welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel then welcome to the yana v channel and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back and as y'all can see by the title below today i'm just going to be showing you guys like how i meal prep what i tend to eat on a daily and also like what i kind of eat for breakfast but just keep in mind i do switch up my meals and what i eat for breakfast so what i may eat this week it may be totally different from what i eat next week so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button also all right you guys so just stay tuned and we'll get right into this video all right you guys so basically right now what i'm doing i'm actually cooking some bacon right now so i usually do not eat bacon like that so this time I just kind of wanted to just try something different on my bread. But I'm gonna show you guys the bacon I did get cause I didn't just get the regular type of bacon. I got the original uncured bacon. Okay, so this does not have any preservatives in it. And it is pork raised without added hormones in it. Okay, so yeah, my bacon ain't done yet. Let me get it about like, mm, let's see. I get that about like five more minutes. Cause I don't want no burnt bacon, but I do like my bacon a little crunchy. So we don't like no fatty bacon over here. So also what I'm gonna be putting on this, like I have my bread, I have my whole grain bread. So I really try to get things where it's like either like a good source of fiber or protein in it. Cause I really like try to get my protein in you guys. So even though I have protein powder, but sometimes, I will say I don't really drink my protein, you know, powders like that, like I should, because sometimes the taste, I don't know, my stomach, it just sometimes, it just ain't got the taste for it, but I at least try to get my protein in with my foods. So, with that being said, I'm going to put egg in it, and I'm also going to put a guacamole on it. So I'm putting egg on it and guacamole on it. So it's gonna be like a type of sandwich, y'all. So that's how I'm doing my breakfast. And I'll be back and show you guys like overall when I'm done with it because it ain't really much to it, it ain't really much to show. So I'm just gonna put my bread in the oven and let that toast a little bit and then cut up my egg. And then, yeah, then I'll show y'all exactly how I kinda eat in the morning time. All right, y'all, so I'm back and Here's my breakfast. I actually took a few bites, you guys, because I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> but I want y'all to just keep in mind that I do not eat bacon on a regular, okay? Because it's just the grease when you cook it. You know, of course, you get a napkin and strain it out. But, but other than that, like, I really try to stay away from bacon and bread as much as i can okay like there's nothing wrong with carbs there's nothing wrong with bread but i will say just do it sparingly but that's your choice me personally i tend to do it sparingly but basically what i'm doing you know today was the bacon the eggs the guacamole the bread so i have my protein my carbs and my fats in there so that it's still good you know because I got still got the, you know, protein and everything else in the fats. And also, I have my, my grapes and bananas. And I have some orange juice. No sugar added. Keep that in mind. Fruit naturally just has sugar in it. So, you kind of just want to, like, stay away from the added sugar. All right, y'all. So, that is my morning uh, breakfast. And I will actually be back when I start to do my um, lunch meal prep. So, I will show you guys that. So, just stay tuned and keep watching. All right, y'all. So, I am back. And I'm actually about to start doing the meal prep. So, here I got my sweet potatoes, my yams. And here I am doing shrimp. And I am also doing some chicken. So I'm doing some tenloy chicken, which I do tend to get a lot. I tend to get chicken a lot, so I do chicken or salmon. But this week is chicken. And I have my vegetables. I have my zucchini blend, and I'm doing broccoli. 
you can get your vegetables fresh. It does cost a little bit more. So sometimes I will do my fresh vegetables. And sometimes I'll do the frozen vegetables. Fresh vegetables are always the better option to go. But if you want to budget like myself and you trying to eat right, like it's okay, you know, to just go a little cheaper and still eat healthy. There's nothing wrong with it. Like eating healthy, it may be expensive, but it does not have to be that expensive. Like you can still eat right on a budget okay all right and another thing you guys whenever i'm like doing any type of oil the only oil that we use in this house the only oil we use is avocado oil oh yeah and another thing i forgot to tell y'all is the seasonings i'm using i am using this everglade seasoning yeah if y'all have never used this i'm telling y'all right now this sauce is the mother freaking ish y'all like this is so freaking good it's good on macaroni and cheese bro it's good on everything y'all and then i'm using my cilantro leaves my rosemary and i am using pepper be using chipotle powder this is gonna be on my chicken and i'm gonna put it on my shrimp so. all right y'all so now we are on to my favorite slash least favorite part of cooking okay <laughs> and it is getting to the chicken so i already patted down the chicken so what i'm gonna do is just add a little bit of avocado oil all right and just so this is just so we can make sure our seasonings are sticking nicely to the chicken y'all all right so next i'm gonna go in with some of my ever you know, the camera, my everglade lasting seasoning so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of that Okay, and just because you work at home, man, you got to be scared of seasoning now. So, don't be scared to season your food because we do like flavoring our food. Pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to add some of my chipotle powder. So we're going to add some of that in there. And if you would like, you can use measuring spoon, but I kind of like my stuff. All right, next I'm going to use some pepper. I'm going to do two turns. And I do add some cilantro leaves to mine. Because, you know, like Chipotle, they put, like, cilantro on that stuff. So, I do like to put some cilantro in my chicken. Okay, and then, let's see. I might throw, like, a little bit of rosemary in there. Just a little bit. Like, just a little tad bit. I ain't going to do a lot. So, just that little bit of rosemary. Because it's just supposed to be, like, a different... It's supposed to be like a chipotle flavor, but we can do the rosemary to give it a little extra taste to go in my and with my hands on this. I use my tongue and I just stir that baby up together. all right and as you can see i am done with this week's meal prep i have the chicken done and i still have some more that i'm cooking but you guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video until next time you guys peace